Greetings, this is Dr. Wilson again. I want to introduce you to a fantastic tool called Weebly that I think you will find is very helpful both in your teaching but also maybe even in your personal life. Weebly is an easy to use website hosting tool. You don't need to know anything fancy, any kind of HTML code or anything to use it. It has recently undergone a change in its look and feel, and so I am redoing this video for this particular semester because the change happened partway through last semester. So you may see a few videos, if you look at Weebly, that show a little bit of different um, format, but this is the most current and updated version, and I'll use it to demonstrate for you how you're gonna do your internet uh, tool that will go with your unit plan. So first what you're going to want to do is uh, actually create, a, create, so sign up for Weebly, it's free, do that account. So you would come in, this would be blank here, I'm going to say add a site, and so you would just add a site from scratch like this, and I'm going to add a site. Notice you could also do a blog or, you know, sell something if you wanted to as well. You choose the theme that you want. And so there's a variety of things here you can choose from. Images that are included on any of these that you want. So let's just say I choose this one right here. So I'll click choose. Now I have to choose, the way to keep it free is to choose this option, use a subdomain of Weebly.com. That means the ending of it will be Weebly.com. You know, Dawn Wilson's professional portfolio or something to that effect because eventually that will be what you will use here. Um, so I'm going to say continue. Did you see the available marker? It showed me that I could use that. Again, they want to do a little tutorial for you if you want to, uh, but I'm going to do that for you so you can see what to do. So here I am at the site. And um, so I'm going to start off and call this my site. And I want it to say, let's just say, format of the uh, font is chosen in the design section. So if you want to change that, you could go to design again. Um, here, I'm going to say this is going to be my professional portfolio. And then I'm going to just kind of leave it as that. We will come back and talk about how to edit your portfolio later. But what you are going to do is add a page to this. So I'm going to go to Pages. Notice my home is going to be called my professional port. Portfolio, but I want to add a page. It's going to be a standard page, and I'm going to move it up here. So I'm going to drag it and drop it right behind there, and I'm going to call this my internet tool. So for you, your assignment is either to create a treasure hunt or subject sampler. So once I get that the way I want it, I'm going to save it. Notice this will stay the same, but now I'm on a page called Treasure Hunt or Subject Sampler. So here I can edit an image. I can make it anything I want. Um, I can listen to something or I can drag and drop an image if I so choose something maybe from my desktop drag and drop easily okay I'm gonna just say this is it okay and I'm gonna say that that is okay but I want to add some text to it And I'm going to say, you know, so you can do what you want. When you think you've got it the way you want it, I'm going to save it. This is really just my header. And I don't want to save it to all pages, but I'm going to save it just to this page because I'll put other things on different pages. So this is going to be, um, I'm going to put another title down here. And I'm going to say this is my treasure hunt or subject sampler.
So do you see I drag, I pick an element and I drag it and drop it into the page. So if you recall, oops, I'm going to go here and I would like to center this. Say MP. Okay. So you would have your title, um, and this actually doesn't look very good up here. I'd have to do a lot of work. I probably want a couple of pictures in here. Anyway. So I would create my title. Now remember your internet tool that you're creating, if you choose to create a treasure hunt, then what you're going to have is you're going to have, and actually for both of these, you will have a uh, introduction. And so I put just a title there, and then this little bitty, this text piece, I drag and drop underneath it. And I would say what the purpose of this tool, and what do you hope they will learn from Assignment. So you'll put that in your introduction, and that's for both a subject sampler or a treasure hunt. Then things get a little different. So let's just, let me show you how this can work. I'm going to divide this page. Now you're not going to divide yours, but I'm doing this just for the template part of this assignment. So I'm going to drag in columns, and I'm going to say it's two columns. And so over here, on the left-hand side, this is going to be the components, so I'm dragging in a title again into that column for the treasure hunt, and over here I'll put, oops, I think that went too high, yep, it sure did. So look, I put this in the wrong place, so I'm just going to exit out, delete it. It's always good to show how to correct things text, drag it down here. See, I want to be sure. There it goes. Okay, so the treasure hunt, if you remember, is built a little differently. So in the treasure hunt, you're going to need questions that students need to be able to answer and you need at least eight to ten to ten questions all right and then you need websites and they need to be different websites for the different questions eight to ten and the last thing you use in the include in this is you will have a big question and this is usually higher level thinking and it asks them to do some things based on the knowledge that they gained from these eight to ten previous questions. So perhaps you would have them, um, if they're doing something on history of um, civil war, so they look at causes and effects and tragedy, the, the tragedy, you know, the number of lives lost and all those things and the different battles. And at the end, you might write a letter to President Lincoln advising him on his Civil War policies. Or, you know, write a letter to the mother who's lost a son on both the, you know, um, both sides of the Civil War uh, fighting or whatever you want to do. I mean, they don't have to all be letter writing. You can draw pictures, you can compare and contrast using a Venn diagram, but you want to think about higher, you create a PowerPoint presentation making your argument based on blah, 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 whatever it is. Uh, and then the final piece of this will be a um, conclusion. Again, restating kind of what was in your introduction. Each of these air topic pieces you would drag in as a new title, and then as you put your 8 to 10 questions, you'll probably include those in something more like a text box so that you're 1, 2, 3, 4, here's your questions. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, then over here, if you're creating a subject sampler, there are different requirements. Uh, in the subject sampler, remember you're finding websites 
for students to visit. And you hope that they learn things at those websites and to be sure that they've been there and done that, you're going to ask them to do certain activities. So you're going to have between five and eight websites that you have found and with each website give them two activities to do. And this is diff difficult. I don't want you to send them to a website and then you ask them a question. So who's the President of the United States? And you send them to a website where they can get that. No. Instead, you want them to do an activity, something with the content there. If they're little ones, they maybe there's a print and color page if you're doing Life Cycle of a Butterfly. If it's a... Um, Maybe you want them to uh, play a game and then write down three things they learned based on the game that they played. Um, maybe they will do a virtual tour of the Alamo and then um, draw a picture of the Alamo um, from one angle. You know, so those kinds of things. The things that they do don't have to be technology related necessarily, but you're taking them to places that they need the internet to be able to go to those places. So you will have five to eight websites. Each website, one to two activity, or at least two activities for each website, and then a conclusion. What you hope they learned. So you can see this is a pretty easy tool. Now here's the trick on Weebly. Notice there's not a really a save button here. So in order to save what you've done each time, you want to click publish. And you can publish over and over and over again, just like you hit the save button over and over and over again. It's going to publish to this. This becomes my web link. I'm going to say continue. So don't change that at all. And then, let's see, we're going to say this is education. Hmm. Teacher page. Then, here's the deal. This, they're telling you, if you do something in this block, it's going to try to sell you something. Don't go there. Instead, click up here. This is the live link to the site that we just created. So do you see this is the professional portfolio site which we didn't do but if I come down here on treasure hunt here's what I just made scroll down there you go and as you're turning your assignment in so you'll turn in a link and you'll post it in the discussion board this is your live link that you want to uh, copy and paste and send to people. Okay, so be sure you use this link. You ought to copy it, and you ought to put it in a new window and see if, in fact, that link works. I can't tell you how many times people submit links that don't work. So don't do that because you can lose points on this. So here is uh, your tutorial on how to create a treasure hunt or subject sample and a tutorial on using Weebly. I hope you've had some fun with it. There's so many things that you can do. When I finish this side of this, I'm going to just X out. And I can keep working on my document if I want to. If I make any changes, click publish, and I'm ready to roll again. Okay, have fun. Can't wait to see what you create.